Yo, what's up? Rich from Turbo Family Fishing back again for another how-to video. So a lot of people have been hitting me up on Instagram, Turbo Family Fishing. Some people did comment on TikTok, Turbo Family Fishing, and on YouTube wondering how I would do my Texas rig. So um, the first things you're going to need is obviously your soft plastic. I'm going to go ahead and use this soft plastic worm. You're going to need you a worm weight, which is, you know, tip like that, kind of like a bullet. It's got an open hole. When we're all done, it's going to look like that, okay? So the last thing you're going to need, of course, is your worm hook. It's a little crazy looking like that. It's got this little bend in it, okay? So we're going to use my spool of line as our pole. So the first thing you're going to want to do, this is how you're going to do your Texas rig. This is how I do my Texas rig, and I'll show you a tip how to make it uh, snag less. Um, some people like to call it weedless. I call it snag less. Um, take your bullet weight, your worm weight. You're going to slide it in tip first towards your pole like that. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to tie on your hook. Now for your hooks, I always use polymer knots for everything. You probably heard me say it a thousand times. Um, there is a YouTube video that I have for tying knots. So go check that out just in case you can't see it here. Um, but yeah, so you're going to fold your line in half like this, make a little loop, feed it through the eye of your hook like this. Next thing you're going to do is wrap the whole thing around. Okay. Like that back through your hole. And then you're going to feed the whole thing around your hook. After you feed it all the way around your hook, you're just going to pull your line tight. Just like this hold your two ends and pull tight okay just like that after it's all the way tight that's your polymer knot okay this is kind of what it looks like i don't know if you can see it well on the youtube video uh but like i said there's another one of me tying knots if you need to see it a little bit better a little bit closer um, with your excess line go ahead and just chop it off like that now it's out of our way and then like i said with your bullet weight is just going to sit like this okay now the next thing you're going to want to do with your soft plastic is you're going to find where the bottom is you're going to kind of want to put the bottom so that when it's all said and done you want it to kind of sit with the flat part facing out okay it's going to sit kind of like that ish or sorry backwards kind of like that ish okay when we're all done so you're going to want to take the tip of your worm weight of your worm soft plastic whatever you got and you're going to kind of want to feed it in and around like that probably about a quarter of an inch you know roughly like this into your hook then you're going to want to pull it through the hole so that it comes around okay and you're going to want to put it on the tip just like that all right so it's on the tip right there okay nothing more than that now you want to stretch your worm out so you can see about where you want to put the hook in to the worm don't pull it just kind of straighten it out okay so now you have the general idea where you want it to go you're going to back that up shove it into the worm so that it comes all the way through and now your worm is kind of you see how it's pretty good and flat all right now this is the trick this is what I got for you. To make it snag less, you're going to want to just pull your worm a tiny bit forward and dip that tip into the worm. Now what that does is it makes it nice and flat so that nothing can touch over it. Okay? You see that? When it's all said and done, that is what your Texas rig is supposed to look like. Just like this. It's not pretty. It's not perfect. I'm not the best at it. But this is how I do it every time for any kind of soft plastics, whether it's crawfish, whether it's, you know, any of those weird looking frogs or whatever you got, you do it pretty much the same way each and every time. So when the fish bite, they bite down and the soft plastic just pops out and there's your hook. I hope this has helped for you guys. This is how Turbo Family Fishing uh, does their Texas rig. I hope this helped you. I know it, it was fun for me. I appreciate it. Go check out the rest of my YouTube videos, Turbo Family Fishing, and I'll catch you on the next one.